Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Preseason week number two is here. Brand new FIFA 23 rewards to grind for today, and hopefully some brand new transfer player SBC. Since we didn't see any of those dropped yesterday, we now think we're going to see them throughout this weekend with the start of the second week of this preseason promo. As you can see here, the week one rewards, since they signify this as week one, we would of course think that brand new ones are coming today. I want to talk about that potential a little bit. And of course, what everybody's really excited for, an Erling Holland, a Renato Sanchez, Antonio Rudiger, and one more leaked transfer SBC or objective card that was talked about yesterday. So I want to take a look at all that. Of course, look at the market, look at the SBC fodder, how those things could be moving today on this game as one of the last promo Fridays is upon us in FIFA 22. So if you're excited for a brand new preseason week today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's take a look first of all at our theory that we had yesterday in the video saying that if we didn't get anything on Thursday, then I was like, okay, we're probably going to get them throughout the weekend. And yesterday, we literally had nothing besides the marquee matchups, SBC. That was all the content that we had. It was a very quiet day yesterday on Thursday. Now, also, what that does set the stage for is the release of these big three leaked transfer SBCs during the weekend. I don't expect to see every single one of these three today. We, we've gone over the week, leaks already, right? We have Renato Sanchez, we have Erling Holland, and we also have Antonio Rudiger that have been leaked in the past couple of days. Renato was leaked first. So that makes me think this could be our headlining SBC today on Friday. I think for me, it's a toss up between Renato and Holland. Both of these are big enough name, big enough hype players to be dropped as a headline main SBC for the start of a promo Friday, the second week of preseason, right? So it's kind of a toss up for me between Holland and Renato Sanchez. I would be prepared for both or not both, but I would be prepared for either of these to drop today. I mean, technically there could be two of these transfer cards today on Friday, but we have four cards leaked in total now because we have Holland, Renato, and Antonio Rudiger, but we have another one here in the mix, Diego Carlos. Now, it does not say if any of these cards are objectives or SBCs, right? It's not signified in any of these uh, leaks, I do believe, but if there's any of these that seem like an objective to me, it's this guy, and this could be an objective player that kind of replaces, if you will, the Lukaku that we have in objectives right now. This would be a really, really great card, None, not nonetheless. I know it's in objectives. Maybe a little bit less people would try and go for this card, but a Brazilian center back with these kind of stats would be absolutely incredible, even if we were to get a Rudiger SBC over the course of this weekend. So that's kind of what I'm seeing, and what we talked about in last night's video as well is didn't, since we didn't get any SBCs yesterday, it really feels like these leaks were just setting the stage for this weekend on the game. So between Renato and Holland, though, I do believe that we will get one of those SBCs today. And that's going to be, it's going to mean there's going to be hype in the SBC section, kind of regardless, right? Last week on Friday, we had the showdown between Nunez and Erickson, and we had Lukaku and objectives. Then we had Lewandowski and Gravenberch released on Saturday and Sunday. I kind of think that's how the weekend is going to go this weekend with maybe one or two moments players today, one in objectives and then a couple more released throughout the weekend. That's kind of how I see things going today on Friday. So again, the real hype is with these transfer players, right? People have loved Lewandowski, Gravenberch, and, you know, Renato Sanchez and Erling Holland are going to bring a lot of hype with themselves dropping on the game today. And of course, one of those, probably Carlos, will be the objective. So let's say Renato or Erling drops today. What's kind of going to happen? Well, of course, you're going to think about SBC fodder. And right now, like we have seen on a lot of Fridays recently, it's kind of the opposite of what you would usually expect to see. A lot of your fodder cards are back down. Now, I'm going to look at a card that's actually a transfer himself that a lot of people are wanting to get a transfer SBC, Gabriel Jesus, right? This is a card that was above 3,000 coins during the week. He is now under 2K with marquee matchup supply and... Pretty soon on Friday this morning, as I'm recording this video, there are going to be people finishing their weekend league, people that grind to get nine or 11 wins like right away and just get it done super duper fast. They're going to be opening packs with tradable rewards and there's going to be a bit of supply for these 84s even early today on Friday as well. I think that fodder today is a W move before 
content and that's kind of what was what it was going to happen last week as well but the whole if you remember last week on friday the whole server uh, issues happened and the game was down um well the game was down a little bit but also ea sports didn't release content for like four hours on a friday after the content drop it was one of the weirdest promo fridays ever so we're really hoping that that is not an issue today if it is that would be a disgrace but you know i think they're not going to have any issues this friday they've got it worked out content's been rolling like normal watch your low rated fodder though 83s 84 specifically 85s even and maybe some 86s basically 86 and under watch these cards because if you do see an sbc release today these guys like one of them these guys like pogba these these are cards that are going to move regardless of whether a player SBC comes out today because also on Friday we have the daily refresh of the 85 times 10 upgrade that still everybody does at least a couple times a day even though the cards in packs today are not changing and that's one thing that a lot of people had a question about is Nate are the cards in packs today changing are they going to put foot captains in packs the answer to that is unfortunately no, because if you take a look at the home screen here, you can see that it mentions on one of these little information tiles that preseason batch one players are in packs again for seven more days. So it is very unfortunate that EA Sports is not changing anything about what is in packs today, but people are still going to open those 85 times 10s. That's why I think it's a great idea to go through, stock your club with a little bit of fodder. You know, just take a look at some of these 83s, these 84s that just you know, 1.5K is crazy, right? Oh, I have a player pick. Nice. Like 1.5K for an 83. That was a nice player pick. Is is really, really solid. That's a really, really great price. And even for 84 is being like 3,000 coins. 85 is being 4K. Try to get some of these guys on bid as well. If you're trying to stock your club, great opportunities because some of these cards move a lot every day. Like I was saying about Gabriel Jesus, he is under 2,000 coins. I just got him for 1.5. And how much was he on Wednesday? Wednesday, this dude was 3.1 thousand coins and probably even on Tuesday, a little bit higher right after content. So I would expect kind of a movement like this today on Friday where you have fodder getting low before the content drop and then spiking right afterwards with the SPCs that do get released. Now talking about SPCs a little bit more, the only thing that would impact the fodder market today would be some sort of tradable supply. And what chances do we have of even getting tradable supply? In my opinion, the only chance that we have is EA Sports dropping some one-off SBC that would give us some supply, which there's no more token SBCs to be had. There's nothing around along those lines. The only thing they might give us is remember how this last week they gave us that untradable and tradable um, 83 plus times five pack. There was a 50K version and a 70K version. If they were to refresh those today, potentially you could see some supply for the lower tier if people open the tradable pack. Um, which they very well could, but I think those weren't even dropped on Friday. I think it was on like Saturday or something. So, um, but I don't know. Everything last weekend was just all mixed up with the whole EA preseason delay and all that madness. So, you know, that, I'm not really worried about supply today for fodder being an issue. I just imagine like every single day on FIFA. Otherwise, you're going to have your fodder go up after 6 p.m. content just because there's going to be new SBCs to do and there's going to be 85 times 10s and other stuff that people are trying to get done and complete. But again, like I mentioned, if I had to take a stab at what player SBC we were going to get today, I feel like it's going to be Renato Sanchez. He was leaked first, but you know, Erling Holland is also a really insane card. I don't know. It's a toss up between those two for me. And then Diego Carlson objective. That's my forecast. That's my prediction. But of course we really don't know. We just know that those players are coming soon. So that's kind of the talk around the SBC section today. Other than that, I don't think anything else is really expiring. Like your, even your 82 plus player picks are still here. The shapeshifter player pick that's still here until tomorrow um, on, t on Sunday, sorry, on Saturday, uh, your 93 pluses, those are all still here. So nothing is really expiring today. You still have one more day to complete Pogba. You still have one more day to complete Wijnaldum. Though I guess the one that really does expire is the foot 23 warm up. So that's the next thing I want to talk about though is what new FIFA 23 objectives will we have to grind today? Some of you guys are only playing this promo right now because you're like, I want to get some FIFA 23 rewards for my next year account. And I do believe that between the weeks last year, like preseason week one to week two, the pack rewards weren't that different. Now it does say on the preseason website that it says each week we will see new challenges. So stay tuned for details about additional foot 23 rewards that will be made available in the coming weeks 
of preseason. Now, again, this past week, we had the three players packs and the two player packs that were both rare golds and the contracts. Now, what kind of rewards would I like to see? I would like to see more of these. I, I think this is the best value reward as long as it doesn't take a lot of games to play, a lot of time to grind. Drop as many of these as you can esports because these three rare golds, like again, think about how few rare golds are in League One. If you can't grind every single one of these, if you don't have time to do all of these, try at least to do League One and, and Premier League because League One, there's so many few rare golds and Premier League, there's just a lot of cards that you might be able to fit in your team, especially thinking about the new chemistry system uh, coming in FIFA 23. Those would be very good packs to have. And again, speaking of the chemistry system in 23 and the way it's going to go down, I would love to see EA release one of the rewards that uh, containing and giving out position modifier, like a position modifier pack or a consumables pack that might seem like an L, but I'm telling you guys, from what I have seen and heard, and even just reading the pitch notes that EA have put out, those position change modifiers, they're different in FIFA 23 than they have been in FIFA 22. There's only one card. If you see anything that gives those out, make sure you do those objectives because we are going to need a lot of those next year for SBCs, for turning our squads around with the chemistry. People are going to make mistakes and have to move players around all the time with their secondary positions. So I know that's you know way forward thinking. And you're like, Nate, why would I grind? If it's not too hard and if they do give us this, make sure you go and get those consumable packs done if they're going to contain position changes because those are going to be very, very needed. And I can even tell you this from playing the beta, and I'm not, I'm not supposed to say those words, but from playing that as well and just knowing how it looks, position changes are incredibly important to have a lot of in your ultimate team. So again, I just hope they give us some good packs. Like the three player packs, I don't mind at all. Um, the two rare gold players packs, like those... I'm not a fan of those. Give us better player packs or give us just more contracts. We didn't have any coin boosts to grind for last time, but I would imagine that the rewards today would be, again, redeemable through the two different methods they were this last week, right? Both kind of through uh, objectives, but I guess one was technically through SBCs. The warm-up challenge, I think we'll get a new warm-up challenge today, right? It was called warm-up challenge one. Um, I guess, no, never mind. It was challenge two, three, and two, and three, but... I would assume we get another warm-up challenge day for the second week and then another objective to give us some games to play to get some sort of packs and then also some FIFA 22 rewards at the same time. So those are the biggest two things today, the transfer SBCs and the FIFA 23 rewards. Just make it semi-decent rewards and make it kind of worth our time, EA Sports, and we will go ahead and absolutely get involved with some of that. So that's kind of what's going on today there. Like I mentioned, no new cards in packs today. It's just, it's kind of a weird one and it's a bummer still because so many people are like, Nate, how do I get the foot captains cards? Really the only way to do that is to do the one of four footies batch, one, two or three player pick. And if you need three foot captains cards to get Salah done or however many you need, what do you need? You need three of them. Then you have to do that SBC three times, which is pain, but Unfortunately, it's the only way that EA are helping us out right now in that regard. So unless EA have any surprises for us today, I'm not expecting that massive of a day of content. I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. It's the, really the hype's going to come down to the rewards for 23 and the transfer players. Now, also, you know, regarding what transfer player were to drop today, if it's a Renato Sanchez, you're going to really carefully want to watch some of your elite tier midfielders and watch some of your PSG links as they could rise. But also, if it's a Erling Holland today, then I would look at a guy like maybe a shapeshifter's son, one of the only Premier League striker cards that still maintains some sort of value on the market right now, and maybe some other Manchester City cards as well. Some of those Man City cards could be going up after a Holland drops. Some of these other striker cards in the Premier League, maybe even like a Tots Cristiano Ronaldo, this shapeshifter son, those types of cards and other strikers could be dropping a little bit. Just like midfielders, if Renato Sanchez were to drop a guy like Marcelo or Sergio Ramos, two of the top shapeshifter midfielders that are still being used by a lot of people right now in this game, these types of players could be dropping today, depending upon what SBCs come out. So that's absolutely something to watch out for today. Now, also there, there's one card that I look at right now and say, man, it's not looking good for this guy, whatever happens. And that's Eder Militao, because re regardless of whether Rudiger is dropped this weekend at a good price or Diego Carlos, that would mean this Militao would have two different options to get replaced by a Brazilian center back via Diego Carlos 
or another Real Madrid center back in Rudiger. So I would be very careful with this card specifically. I wanted to kind of shout his card out in general because he has been up in price since he went out of packs at 130, 120,000 coins last week. He is now up to 170K. I'd be looking to take the cash on a card like that, especially with the, le the leaks that we know are actually coming. So again, I'm not going to take all your time here and, and make a super, super duper long video today um, about the Friday content because there's, there's really not that much to talk about. We know what we're expecting. Drop us the transfer player species EA Sports, make them good value and allow us to craft them up. Drop some good FIFA 23 rewards and we'll call it a very good promo and a very happy Friday, I guess is what you could say. Although we would like to see things a little bit better with the cards and packs, we'll have to wait for next week for that one. But that's going to be the video for today, lads. Let me know down in the comments what you're excited for the most today, whether it's the rewards, whether it's probably for the preseason uh, transfer players. I'm excited for those. I want to try some of those cards out. I, mean, I think that's where most of the hype is for today for sure. So let me know down in the comments. But if you enjoyed today's video and if you're excited for the promo today, hit the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Vote Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.